നമസ്കാരം ടു ഓൾ സോറി ദാറ്റ് വി കുഡിൻ കീപ് ദ പേസ് ഓഫ് ഓർ കണ്ടിന്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് ദ സെഷൻസ് വി ഹാഡ് കപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ബ്രേക്സ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എനിവേ ഐ തിങ്ക് വി വിൽ try to coordinate the sessions in a more regular way so let us start chaturmukha samarambham vakbhadaacharya madhyamam asmad aacharya paryantam vande guru paramparam ragaadi rogan sadatan shaktan sheshakaya prasradana sheshan aulsukya moha aradidan jakhana yo purva vidyaya namostu tasmai so we were discussing about the vriddhi and kshaya of doshas and in that discussion we happened to go through the connection between sharira and bhuta and also we just mentioned something like a passing reference the connection between uh, doshas and bhutas like uh, vayu agasha dhadubhyam vayu agne em pittam ambha prithivibhyam shleshma like that and we tried to understand the doshas based on the gunas and we also went through the vriddha lakshanas and chena lakshanas of doshas vriddhastu urude nilaha karsya karshni ushnagamitva kambana ha sagrigrahan bala nidre indriya bhramsa pralabha bhramadinada etc etc and uh, we also mentioned that doshas can be considered as a threefold grouping of the panchabhudas each one accommodating a set of gunas of the corresponding domain and we stated that vayu accommodates the gunas of vayu and agasham and evolves as an agency which owns the responsibility of all the functions done by those gunas in the same way we saw about pitta and kapha as well okay fine uh, now we will come across the observations documented in the samhitas regarding the events of kshaya and vritti it is something like going further down from the level of basics it is further going down and uh, if we look into the samhitas and try to understand the which are the very basic ideas regarding the chaya and vritti or uh, that sort of changes happening in the body maybe i think the first one which will attract our attention could be vriddhi samanaihi sarvesham viparidair viparyayah that may be the most fundamental idea vriddhi samanaihi sarvesham viparidaihi viparyayah samanaihi sarvesham vrithihi samanaihi ജനറൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് വെരി ഹൈലി ജനറൽ ജനറലൈസ്ഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് 
repeatedly we are saying that sharira is panjabhaudika sharira is panjabhaudika and ahara is also panjabhaudika so that way sharira and ahara they are samana so when ahara is consumed because of the samanata of the panjabhudas of sharira and ahara what happens sharira goes through vriddhi and thus sharira grows if the supply is cut there is no support of samana gunas and there is no further vruthi this is common sense ikke there is nothing rocket science in it this is quite a common sense ikke observation now more specifically when somebody is consuming an ahara having a very a particular guna in excess say snigdha guna for example then what happens the snigdha guna samana bhavas in the sharira increases and vriddhi of snigdha da happens and snigdha da of ahara and the snigdha da of sharira both are the gunas of prithvi jala bhudas having samanata between them and hence snigdha of the sharira increases this is again a common sensical thing i need not underestimate the listeners this snigdha guna is viparita or vishesha to the ruksha guna and hence what happens ruksha guna of the sharira decreases or it faces a chaya so in all these activities aharam is the most important component aharam is the most important component so i am repeating we are trying to understand the basic changes that are happening in the sharira when we say there is a dosha kshaya there is dosha vriddhi or in general vriddhi and kshaya we are trying to explore what is happening actually in the sharira so we find that ahara is very crucial it is a generally accepted fact need not be in the realm of ayurveda but even otherwise prana prana bhadam annam annam lobo bhidhavati चरकम प्राणा प्राणभृदाम अन्नम फूड अन्नम इस द लाइफ ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बीइंग्स प्राणभृदाम प्राणा एंड द होल वर्ल्ड सीक्स फूड अन्नम लोगो भी धावती देर आर मेनी अदर ऑब्जर्वेशंस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑब्जर्वेशंस documented in the same line say for example look into the 28th chapter of charaka samhita sutra sthanam there is a very bold statement what is that it is an attempt to understand how the ahara is becoming the most important component in the existence the observation goes like this vividham asitam pidam lidham khaditam jandoho hitam andaragni sandhukshita balena yathasvena ushmana samyak vipachyamanam kalavad अनवस्थित अनवस्थितुपाकुपहतुष्मुत 
केवल शरीर उपचय बल वर्ण सुखायुषा योजयदी शरीर धादून ऊर्जयदी चरक सूत्र ट्वेंटी एट चाप्टर थर्ड कारिक I am not going to explain it. Only the the core concept is that if these sort of foods are taken and it is some, uh, in it is processed properly, what is that? Kevalam shariram upachaya bala varna sukha yusha yoga yadi sharira dhadu rojja yadi cha. In the same chapter, we find once again what is that? Idam shariram asida pida. स्टेटमेंट आहार संभव वस्तु आहार संभव वस्तु सो All these statements highlight the significance of anna, and to understand this relationship better, we can find many enquiries made by the acharyas, and important conclusions drawn out of such enquiries. and one such conclusion or inference is that one which is documented by susruta and other acharyas as well for the sake of easy communication i am taking this idea from susruta that's all it is in the 42nd chapter of susrutam sutram what is that guna dravyeshu ya ukta shareeshu apite tatha गुणा द्रव्येशु ये उक्ता शरीरेश्वपि ते तथा देन सो व्हाट स्थान वृद्धि क्षयास तस्माद देहिनाम द्रव्य हेतु का स्थान वृद्धि क्षयाह तस्माद देहिनाम द्रव्य हेतु का द्रव्येशु ये गुणा उक्ता शरीरेशु अभी तथा दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्सर्वेशन द गुणास प्रसन्न इन द द्रव्या एंड द गुणास प्रसन्न इन द शरीर आर सेम दे आर सेम दिस इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ कीन ऑब्सर्वेशन सो वॉट स्थान वृद्धि क्षया तस्मा देहिना द्रव्य हेतु सो स्थान वृद्धि एंड क्षय ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बीइंग्स द मेंटेन ग्रोथ एंड क्षय डिक्लाइन ऑफ एनी लिविंग बीइंग एनी पर्सन और इन शॉर्ट दिस शरीर is all caused by dravya is all caused by dravya so sharira grows by dravya sharira maintains itself because of dravya sharira degrades because of dravya the way in which the yoga happens is critical i am not going to that detail at this point outside the realm of ayurveda we find similar statements upanishads they have made very important observations about anna annad bhudani jayande jadanni annena vardhande adyadetti cha bhudani tasmad annam taduchyade annam brahma there are many many interesting observations made in the upanishads regarding the importance of anna so annad bhudani jayande 
ಜಾದಾನಿ ಭೂದಾನಿ ಅನ್ನೇನ ವರ್ಧಂತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಂಚಭೌತಿಕ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶರೀರ ಆಂಡ್ ದ ಅನ್ನ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಆಹಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ಶರೀರ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಶರೀರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಧಾಧೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಶರೀರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಧಾಧೂಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಥಾನ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಷಯ ಆಫ್ ಶರೀರ that may be connected that shall be connected to the sthana vruddhi and kshaya of sharira dhadus sthana vruddhi and kshaya of sharira dhadus that sort of an observation is very well documented this is also very very important i think we have mentioned this in one of our earlier sessions doesn't matter even if it, we are repeating it 100 times no problem what is that observation dhadavah khalu sharirah samanaihi samana guna bhuishthaihi va aahara viharaihi abhyasyamanaihi vriddhim aapnuvanti dhadavah ಘಲು ಶಾರೀರಾಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶಾರೀರಾಹ ಧಾಧವಃ ಸಮಾನೈ ಸಮಾನ ಗುಣಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠೈ ವಾ ಆಹಾರ ವಿಹಾರೈ ಅಭ್ಯಸ್ಯಮಾನೈ ವೃದ್ಧಿಮಾಪ್ನುವಂತಿ ಕ್ರಾಸಂ ತು ವಿಪರೀತೈ ವಿಪರೀತ ಗುಣಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠೈ ವಾ ಪ್ರಾಸಂ ಕ್ಷಯ ಸೊ ದ ಧಾಧೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರೀರ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಮಾಪ್ನುವಂತಿ ಅಟೈನ್ಸ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಹೌ ಬೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಭ್ಯಸ್ಯಮಾನೈ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಹಾರಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಹಾರಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾನ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾನ ಗುಣಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಸಮಾನ ಆರ್ ಸಮಾನ ಗುಣಭೂಯಿಷ್ಠ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಬೈ ದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕನ್ಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಹಾರ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಹಾರ which are viparita or viparita guna bhuishtha dhadus attain hrasa kshaya dhadus attain kshaya to make this idea clearer other is giving examples tathahi say for example look at this deha dhadavah ye guravah te guru bhihi aikya karitaya upachiyante deha dhadavah ye guravah te guru bhihi ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತಯ ಉಪಚೀಯಂತೆ ಲಘವಃ ತು ಲಘುಭಿ ತದ್ ವಿಪರೀತೈಸ್ತು ಪೃಥಕ್ತ್ವಕಾರಿಭಿ ಅಪಚೀಯಂತೆ ಸೊ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ those dhadus which are guru they upachiyande they get nourished by the consumption of 
ಗುರು ಭಿಹಿ ಗುರು ಆಹಾರ ವೈ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತಯ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮಾನತ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯಂ ಏಕತ್ವಕರಂ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯಂ ಏಕತ್ವಕರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಏಕತ್ವಕರತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ ಏಕತ್ವಕರತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತಯ ಉಪಚೀಯಂದೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಏಕತ್ವಕರಂ ವಿಶೇಷಸ್ತು ಪೃಥಕ್ತ್ವಕೃತ್ ತದ್ ವಿಪರೀತೈಸ್ತು ಪೃಥಕ್ತ್ವಕಾರಿ ಅಪಚೀಯಂದೆ ಚರಕ ಸಂಹಿತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಐಕ್ಯಕಾರಿತ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೂಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಪೃಥಕ್ತ್ವಕಾರಿತ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೂಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಷಯ when we look at this aikya karita and prathatva karita they are also related to the pancha bhautika nature of the dravya for example aikya karita is an outcome of the similarity in the bhuda constitution aikya karita is an outcome of the similarity in the bhuda constitution prathatva karita is again dissimilarity because of the dissimilarity so now there are some interesting observations or interesting points what are they see here we find dhatavah khalu in the further explanation also we will find the same thing dhatavah khalu we don't find mala or dosha our basic discussion is about dosha vruddhi dosha kshaya but we don't find any dosha here not mala also this is because ahara is used for making of dhadu sonli ahara is used for making of dhadu sonli as far as uh, <coughs> mala is concerned of course you can say that they are also products of ahara but they are by products consumption of ahara is not primarily intended for the making of mala it is primarily intended for the making of dhadus then what about doshas when we say about the dosha kshaya or dosha vruddhi and start searching for the concerned mechanism always we find dhadu kshayam and dhadu vruddhi the mechanism of dhadu kshay dhadu vruddhi dhadavah ghalu sharirahah samanaihi samana guna bhuishtaihi va aahara viharaihi abhyasyamanaihi vruddhi maapnuvandi not about doshas so in all situations we find that the vruddhi or kshaya is related to the status of the dhadus basically so the bhuda connection of the sharira is easily established through the status of the dhadus this is very important because we are always thinking that we stand by the uh, tridosha siddhanta and we look into the major treatises like charaka samhita we find plenty of references regarding the dhadu vruddhi dhadu kshayam its mechanism how it is happening all these things but there are some cluttering ideas behind what is happening with the case of doshas but interestingly we are using all these terms we are using all these concepts liberally in our day to day practice see 
we will see a few more things before coming to the crux of the story. You know, the Sharira is a mass of Sneha. It has seven dhadus, all snigtha, and each dhadu is unique or distinct because of the unique characteristics attributed to them. And these characteristics are in terms of their gunas and karmas. And these gunas and karmas are the outcome of the peculiar manner in which the Panjabhudas are aligned in each of them. In short, the alignment of Panjabhudas is unique for each dhat. The alignment of Panjabhudas is unique with each dhat. And we also saw that Ahara is converted to Dhadus primarily, not to Doshas or Malas. <coughs> In this process, <coughs> Agni is a critical player. We already saw some descriptions in this regard earlier. <coughs> As I mentioned, no problem, we will be revisiting. We will be seeing it again and again. At one point, we saw the work pattern of Bhudagnis. Bhauma Pyagneya Vayavyaha Panjoshmanaha Sanabhasaha Sanabhasaha Bhauma Pyagneya Vayavyaha Panjoshmanaha Sanabhasaha Panjahara Gunan Swan Swan Parthivadin Pajantyanu that was about the Bhudagnis. Sorry, yeah, Bhudagnis. Charagam Chikitsidam, 15th chapter, Grahini Chikitsa. Then, further we find certain interesting observations. What is that? Yathaswam swam cha pushnandi dehe dravya gunaha prathak. During this process and during the further changes happening dehe dravya gunaha pushtandi what is happening dravya gunaha pushtandi the dravya gunas are getting nourished that is how the system operates Dravya gunaha pushtnandi, parthivaha parthivaneva, seshaha seshamsha, seshaha seshamsha, kritsnasaha. So, the five sets of ahara gunas or dravya gunas accumulated as an outcome of the activities of bhudagnis. Pushnandi nourishes Yathaswam Dravya Gunan, the corresponding Dravya Gunas. Parthivaha Parthivan, Sheshaha Sheshan, Krishnasaha. Completely, there are no leftovers. In the Paga of Bhudagnis, there are no leftovers, no Mala. Then comes the Dhatvagnis. Saptabhi deha dhadaro dhadavo dvividham punaha punaha further to this yathaswam agni bhihi pagam yandi kishta prasadavadu. Charagam Chigilsa 15th chapter. Saptabhi deha dhadaraha dhadavaha dvividham punaha. Yathaswam Agni Bihi 
பாகம் யாந்தி கிட்ட பிரசாதவது புனக ஆஃப்டர்வர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர்வர்ட்ஸ் மீன்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் த பாகா ஆஃப் த பூதாகிஸ் தேகதாதார தாதவ the true supporters of the sharira deha dhadara dhadava the seven dhadus yathaswam <coughs> yathaswam in a respective manner according to its own peculiarities saptabhihi agnibhihi by means of the seven agnis <coughs> கிட்ட பிரசாதவது கிட்ட பிரசாதவது இந்த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கிட்டம் அண்ட் பிரசாதம் திவிதம் பாகம் யாந்தி அண்டர்கோ டூ ஃபோல்டு பாகம் கிட்ட பிரசாதவது திவிதம் பாகம் யாந்தி அண்டர்கோ டூ ஃபோல்டு பாகம் இந்த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கிட்டம் அண்ட் பிரசாதம் தென் வி ஃபைண்ட் ரசாத்ரக்தம் ததோ மாம்சம் மாம்சான்மேதஸ்ததோஸ்திச அஸ்தனோ மஜ்ஜா ததசுக்கிரம் சுக்கிராத் கர்ப்ப பிரசாதஜ தட் இஸ் அ பிரசாதம் தென் கிட்டம் அன்னசிய விண்மூத்திரம் ரசசிய து கபோசிரஜ பித்தம் மாம்சிய கமலா மலஸ்வேதஸ்து மேதச சியாத் கிட்டம் கேசலோம் நாஸ்தனோ மஜ்ஜஸ்னேஹோட்சிவிட்வஜம் பிரசாத கிட்டே தாதூனம் பாகாதேவம் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் தாதுஸ் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் அண்ட் அஸ் பை ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் மலாஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ சோ த தாத்வக்னி பாகம் கிரியேட்ஸ் பிரசாதம் அண்ட் கிட்டம் இன்டென்ஷன் இஸ் டு கிரியேட் த பிரசாதம் பட் kittam is inevitable so there is sapta dhatvagni prasadam is form kittam is form. then where are the doshas where is the mentioning about the dosha so how do you understand the dosha vritti how do you understand the dosha kshayam this is the pakas that are happening in the sharira in a nutshell what we have explained so far is the gist of the pagas that are happening the changes that are happening from which we understand the vruddhi and the kshaya where is dosha vruddhi where is dosha kshaya in this so how should we how should we understand dosha vruddhi how should we understand the dosha kshaya or when we mention that there is dosha vruddhi or dosha kshaya what do you mean originally that is a big problem actually it is not a big problem or that is where the original story is spinning around this is very crucial understand we will look into that aspect in our next session <clears throat> i think we have given few references we have mentioned certain uh, shastra bhagas that will help you all to do some sort of an intensive homework about what we are discussing right away which will make our next sessions easier and uh, clearer also so please go through these aspects these textual portions and uh, we will meet again in our next session i'm not very sure whether i'll be able to come on saturdays uh because of some busy work schedules i think uh, we may be forced to change the schedule to uh, once in a week i'm not very sure let us see uh, anyway you all will be informed through the group thank you very much bhishayam sadhu vrittanam bhadra magama shalinam स्वभ्यस्थकर्मण भद्रम भद्रम भद्राभ्याशनम नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ यू